Fast and Furious update. Some new information that uh, uh, new information to me, anyways, that just came out um, in the last month through uh, theblaze.com. Uh, a gentleman that's on trial for the Sinola. I hope I'm saying that right. The Sinola <laughs> cartel. His name is uh, Jesus Vincente Zambada Nebla. And uh, he basically confirms my suspicions right from the get-go. I uh, suspected that this was more about the drugs than the guns, and that uh, you know a lot of a lot of uh, folks on the right wing side of the spectrum were concerned that Fast and Furious was about taking our guns away. And I originally hypothesized that uh, it was much larger than that, and this was a way for the U.S. government to take over the drug dealing. Uh, it was also a way to gain power and control in Mexico. Um, this Jesus Vincente Zimbada Nibla, he basically uh, made some statements. He's on trial right now in Chicago. He's up on uh, U.S. federal charges. And some of his statements, he's ba basically saying from 2004 to 2009, the U.S. government allowed the Sinola gang to bring in unlimited amounts of drugs into Chicago. Uh, they were also able to buy and, and, and receive guns. And this happened under the Bush administration, which is very interesting because the Republicans are the ones right now supposedly le leading this investigation of Fast and Furious. Um, I know I've gone after Obama and Holder quite a bit on this, but uh, again, this is just another reminder that both of these parties are corrupt, Republicans and Democrats. Um, and, and Obama and Holden don't get off scot-free because this happened during the Bush years. No, they, they're, they're still covering it up. They're not coming clean and admitting the truth that both parties have been allowing this through the Justice Department. The federal government, again, has not learned any lessons from what happened in, in Boston. Boston FBI, Whitey Bulger, if you're not familiar with that case, look it up. You know, basically what happened... Uh, the Godfather movies came out, and uh, the Italian Mafia was the number one target of the Boston FBI. They wanted to take down the Italian Mafia because that was what was depicted in the movies, that the Italian Mafia were the kingpins. Uh, they, they basically allowed the Irish Whitey Bulger Winter Hill Gang to take over Boston to kill people, and they allowed it. They sanctioned it. They gave him cover. He murdered tons of people, and he was able to get away with it because he gave them information to take down the rival mafia. And in and, and reality, if you really look at it, too, the Italian mafia, they had rules and respect in Boston. I think, uh, all in all, they, they took down the wrong gang. They should have given the uh, Italian mafia the protection and taken down Whitey's gang because Whitey's gang was much more violent. And uh, this seems to be the case again in Mexico. Uh, the U.S. government is doing the same thing again. They are pitting these drug cartels against each other, allowing certain cartels to be the favored, uh, the favored drug dealers of the U.S. government. They're able to get away with murder, transporting drugs into America, buying guns. Um, the U.S. government has aided, aided and abetted them in these crimes. Just like they aided and abetted Whitey Bulger, the FBI did in Boston, to allow him to kill and murder even innocent people. Um, that's, that's the government that we have right now. They will allow people to be murdered. They will allow drugs to come into America. They will do whatever it takes as long as they're getting something out of it. They're getting some power. And apparently, this uh, gentleman that's on trial is, is now blowing the whistle. He, he's saying that the U.S. government has allowed his cartel to rise to the top to take over because they're giving information to the U.S. government about the other gangs. They're, they're using information so that they can make busts and arrests. And I think it's just disgusting. And um, again, you have to wonder if this isn't even, even, doesn't even go deeper than that. That maybe this gentleman is just speaking on what he knows of. So that's it. U.S. government, same old games. Just like they did with the FBI in Boston and Whitey Bulger doing the same again in Mexico. Big surprise. And the violence comes here. 
They want to control the crime. Think about that. Control the crime. They don't want to stop the crime. They want to control it. 